Yo! Video games. The Lorians suck. You know something? You suck. Who said this? <laughs> Who said this? Well, he's kinda, Who said that? He's kind of right. Chin, chins us, Steve. They don't. <laughs> they, they, they are kind of They're not terrible. racing cars. Yeah. You would never buy one for actual utility. <laughs> yeah, you just buy one because I want it back to the future. Car. So you want to trick it out. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a fully kitted. Um... Yeah, me and Jessica got to see the one of the prop, well, not a prop, like a recreation one at a convention we were at, and yeah, the, the guy let us sit inside it, and it's like, <laughs> it's a tiny, boxy little vehicle. <laughs> He's like, yeah, there's nothing. And in the here. window, you can't even put the windows down. You can put a slit. In the yeah, there's a little slit in the window. Yeah. Mother, you're not in the. You're not driving the car for the window. It's like we saw a guy who, uh, he actually was in the. Uh, like Beautiful but horrible. Like Gumball, yeah. Gumball 3000 or whatever. It's like, yeah, they probably, the like Max said, they probably chopped a lot in half to film. Oh, dude, they, they emptied that car to stick a camera into it. Yeah. They, like, ripped out everything. Like, the dashboard, the, the whole seat, <laughs> the passenger seat is gone. To get the shots of Marty in the car, it's crazy. Apparently, he, like, he cut himself a lot. Yeah, because there's sharp edges everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, it's so having to, like, move around in the car. You're just going to dice up your arms. There's, well, they're supposed to... Well, they probably already have. They made. They are making a... Uh, I believe an electric one. Yeah, I heard something, yeah. Uh, like, a few years ago. Like, if they... Fi- they could fix it, but yeah. Well, there's padding. Was, but the, uh, oh, yeah, Dad no, we saw, we saw a guy good. at Denny's one late night. We, saw, we, we pull up there, and there's a fucking DeLorean sitting there. Right? Looking like Back to Future 2 Delorean. And like, okay. And he's sitting by the window because he was he's he's in his racing suit, right? Yeah. And he's like, so we we go in there and I, oh, at the at the time and he was coming out at the time, so we we're like, okay. And so he's like showing us some stuff. He has like little MP3 set up of like the you know, different sounds. Nice. He got the smoke that comes out the <laughs> back, yeah. right? And okay. uh, <clears throat> they went all out. This guy goes. He, this guy asks him. He's like. Uh, He's like, what kind of gas mileage does this get? And he's like, who cares? It's a fucking DeLorean. What kind of gas mileage? What kind of gas mileage does your DeLorean get? What kind of gas mileage does your Dodge Viper get? <laughs> 42 miles per gigawatt. Oh. He's like, none. It's got Mr. Fusion on it. One. Yeah. Well, Mr. Fusion was the power of the flux capacitor. Not the yeah. Car. Oh. You fucking nerd. That's true. Yes, you still have to get, to get gas. It runs on <laughs> my car. That's my car. Yes, that's my favorite. That's my that's my hero car for all racing games. There won't be a gas station here for fifty years. <laughs> well, that was a, that was a Supra. What the hell? Yeah, look at this. Sixty FPS. Although if Doc was really smart, he probably could have found a way to like route power from Mr. Fusion to the engine as well. Yeah. Unless, oh, unless it only does 1.21 gigawatts. Wait, this is a PS2 game we're looking at? Oh, Fuck you, Kenny, start it up. <laughs> Fuck you, start this up, I don't believe it. People wanted to see the intro. I, mean, I want to see the intro too, but I don't believe it. Do arcade mode, yeah. Looks like a Ridge Racer game there. If, if there's an arcade mode with a rally version and I get to play the Castrol Supra or Castrol uh, GT, I need to. 18, 20 miles for a highway. It's better. That's better than a uh, suburban. <laughs> I think a suburban is like fifteen. Smoky Mountain, <clears throat> Swiss Alps. You got it. You got it. You gotta Swiss. let me have it, Kenny. You gotta let me get the Swiss Alps. You can have it. Aesthetic. Thank you. This is a PS2 game, man. Rally cars. Uh, rally car. There's my baby, my sweet baby. The Corolla. No. Corolla. <laughs> no, that's not right at all. Uh. The Focus? Oh, oh Jesus, focus they don't even it. have it. Oh, my oh, God. No. The Corolla. Do so you want the Subaru Impreza? I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to take the Impreza at this point. It's like the next <clears throat> best. Aquaman. All right, Christ. Wow, fucking, this is not Sega. Marvelous. This shit is tough. <laughs> Why is Steve White? Why is Steve White? Mom? I had to replace Steve. <laughs> oh, with this. <laughs> he, ate, he, ate, he ate too many trash burgers. Yes. Right. Damn, this looks really crisp. Right? Steve died, and I replaced him because I'm a new model. Okay. All right. The vehicle feels like it weighs nine thousand pounds, but that's okay. Simulation. This vehicle's weighing nine thousand. 
No, they don't. Well, it's like, I, <clears throat> I liked Gran Turismo, but... Oh, nice. It, how, how fast you're going never looked like you are going Yeah, fast. I know. It's right. Like, you're going 180 miles an hour. Oh, I'll just take this really? Oh, God! Yeah, you, yeah. you have to look at your speed because you're not sure how fast you're going. Yeah, because you're so used to, um, you know, like, arcade racing. Yeah, but even, the, even like, where you're in the cockpit view, you can't really tell how fast you're going. Yeah. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like you're going any faster. Yeah. This is an impressive looking game. I'm not gonna be very honest. Oh, dude, it's easy left. These guys always just fully. Use hey, you bitch! The power of the PlayStation. Polyphony Did Digital. Yeah. Polyphony, they just like, they knew every square inch of the PlayStation. Whatever. Anthony. Yeah, whatever PlayStation they were working on. Somebody wake up Hicks. Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wake up Hicks. Somebody wake up. Eggs! Oh god! Oh man! Okay, Hard wrong light. way. God, I got. I understand. Even with the uh, Max, you're breaking the car. Even with the the wheel, the wheel and the pedals, like I will have that. Yeah, you did. And yeah. I could not like even. Uh, I even tried it like at the at Best Buy. It's like you still can't tell. Like you're going fast, you still can't tell. Obviously, the wheel doesn't look that. Like, look, it doesn't look. look, at the look at, I was like, oh, I'm going a hundred. Yeah, but. <clears throat> I want the wheel, to me, didn't make it easier. <laughs> Can't see like, Dick! He's got too much shit coming out of his butt. Smokescreen. What's oh, happening? Oh. Look at this smokescreen. <laughs> okay, like, do the tutorials in the beginning, they'll, they'll, you'll see, like, how you should approach turns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Green, yellow, should slow down, red, brake. Okay, yellow, like, it's cool. And you, you do that enough, and then you kind of see, okay, this is how I have to come in and turns and go out of the turn. Yeah, I just wish, like I was saying, it, it, showed, me. it made it look like you're going fast. Oh, yeah. Like this, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's... You still have to be realistic driving. Yeah. And just have... Well, one, I remember the one thing, too, they wished... Like, the, the director always wished he could do in the games and he never was able to was damage. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, to get all the car manufacturers to agree, all of them, they, like, all had to... They all said... They, they all had to sign off on it. Yeah. Yeah, Our all, cars never no, crashed. They about? never wanted to show damage on their vehicles. Yeah. Especially in comparison to other cars. Yeah, like, especially yeah. in a rally car. And like, I grew up as a car, car one, you can't get the approval of any. Yeah. yeah. Zenark, thank you. And like, the cool, unique cars that you would get in the game were awesome, and the ways you could tune them up, and you're like, holy shit. Like, you, you have to just be a serious car buff to really enjoy this game. Just like you have to be like a, you know, football buff to... I enjoyed it. ...to enjoy uh, Madden. You get these, you know, old school, unique cars. Well, the original Gran Turismo games had a really fun gameplay loop of, uh, you know, like the... the you gotta, you gotta remember, before Gran Turismo, there wasn't a lot of racing games that that composed their general game plan, like how you, what you do to go through, you earn cars, you, yeah. you get to make the car better. Yeah. Like, that thing didn't really exist very much. Yeah. So when Gran Turismo came along, it was like this simulation racing game where you go across the world and tour, and then earn, you know, your stripes, the and then yeah. rank up your licenses and your, your ranks and all that shit. And that whole gameplay loop was actually fairly unique to Gran Turismo. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of racing games that did that that well. God, and it was just a small thing. It was just like, hey, you just get to play the game a little bit it differently. It is weird, though, how, like, with this generation, Forza basically ate its lunch. Yeah. Like, they had Sport come out, and <coughs> they just kind of updated that. That was it. Oh, nice. It would just it'd be like a new Forza every fucking year. Yeah, of course it was just too much. Yeah, it was smart though. Lanes. We have Automatalista here, but... Automatalista is not a good uh, game. That game is not a good game. That game is a bad racing game. It looks wheel. great, but it's bad. Yeah, like you have a couple of good races, you win some money. Like the the secret to getting money is like the races that would give you a car. And then you sell the cars. You sell the cars. That was a, that was a kind of a good grind. Way to get money a little bit faster. They have two Forzas. There's Horizon, which is arcade ish, wacky shit, and there's like Forza Motorsport, which is sim like. <clears throat> Horizon was more. Okay, sorry, Kenny. Right, it's not, well, it's like good. the alternate every year. Oh, it's, like, okay. it's, it's, it's one of the I think, I, I, think I enjoy the Horizon one. Yeah, Horizon's like the, the free Lander, form, thank you. kind of like yeah. wacky, wacky well, shit. I think with okay with Automotive. And we're on the second disc, too, on this one. This, look, this game looks ridiculously good. For an original, we're running on an original PS2. This game looks ridiculously good. Uh, Kanta Maloris, thank you. 
Yeah. See, I, I enjoyed. There's a lot of you know, <clears throat> cool things about Automotilista, but I mean, I think even the racing part is fun, other than the fact that you bump the wall, you get boost. That's what. That's what. Or the Automotilista is yeah, broken. That's, that's, that's what killed it. They didn't have that in the beta. Somehow put that in there and uh, it broke the game. Oh, this, these, <clears throat> these guys it's make kind of a shitty track to, to show this off on. Go back and fix something yeah. better, like warm and sunny or some shit. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say about uh, oh. SSX, though. The You know how when you're on the rail, you have to balance? You thought you'd like. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the one that came out for, for 60, they took the. You don't have to balance it, it auto balances you. No. Oh. You can just do tricks. Oh. <clears throat> so I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's a little. Uh, Quality of life we didn't need. <laughs> well, it, it needed it. The old ones, you know. Yeah, super impressed as a hero car for many people. Oh, yeah. My hero car is the Toyota Celica GT. Uh, the the one that, the Rally GT. So I love that car. Republic's the Sega Rally main car, you know? What do you have, Katamari? Trout Mountain. That should be interesting. Okay. Oh, wait. That, that, that was Mountain. Uh, a rally. This is a Rally. You're doing oh, Rally right now. Oh, hi. Go back. Yeah, Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain Rally. Rally. Yeah. Rally. 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 Dude, you play Class C and it'll drive some fucking uh, uh, Ford Taurus. Yeah, right? <clears throat> yeah. But, like, it was Jeez. neat. Like, sometimes <laughs> I would even have fun driving these little cars. <clears throat> like, the hand, like, is. Things like handled differently. Yeah, do a class S, yes. Kenny. Go to go crazy. Let's get, some, let's get some good dick in here. Yeah, there we go. This is <laughs> super. Yeah, that's my hero. Well, that's not really my hero car, but the Castro version's my hero car. So you're gonna pick the Skyline or the Supra? Yeah. Can you explain or the Viper? Can you explain something to me, Max? Yeah. When you're looking at these cars, these specific type of cars, right? Okay. Uh, what? What is the? breakdown of, of, of money for the companies to make them. Because, like, they can't make too many of these, because no one's buying them recreationally, right? And and they're not even really buying them... Are you talking about now or then? I guess more now. Because, yeah, okay, so now they're all collector's items. Like, right, because... Well, not buying, like, an old one now. I mean, like... Like when they make when they make a new car, they like make a new a, GTR or something, or something like this for one of these races. They don't, they're not like mass manufactured, right? No. Well, these so well, okay. So the chassis and like the body is essentially the the same car. Okay. But everything on the inside is not anything close to what is driven on the street. Right. Nothing like the car's gutted as well. It's not a comfortable experience. There's no air conditioning. There's yeah, no fucking yeah, yeah. lights. They dump all that so, shit. So what are they? Do they get? Is there any like money, monetary? Gain oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, for just, for uh, for Toyota, for example. Like so, uh, like if you if you, I'd say a really good movie. Like it's it's all about it, it, the race for competition amongst other cars of who's who's the best, who's the fastest, because that makes the rounds. In in the world of racing, that shit is important for consumers and buyers to be that as your selling point. You know, that's well, like your okay, like, we're the fastest, the... most reliable, <clears throat> most best handling, like whatever that shit is. Appointed those those nominations by like popular magazines or mm. Car and Driver or Kelly, what Kelly Blue Book, whatever that shit is. It's reputation. Yeah. So, but in, in a world where people are either shopping for cars or shop for cars religiously or collect these things or are looking for new ones, the whole point is that there's a very when when cars sell, there's a very big amount of upsell, right? You get. You, you, you can make a lot of money on selling a car, especially with higher options to, to the consumer base. That's why they don't, if you, we sold 18,000 Corollas, that's incredible. Right. That's like, that's like a good, good ass well, sales. People buy like a, like a Corolla or, or a Camry or, or like, you know, Hondas and shit. They buy them because they're reliable. People, people buy them because, yeah, they want something that won't break down on them. Right. But, so, then, but then you get enthusiasts. So, so what I don't like, yeah. So, like, how does this this type of racing work for something like an Audi or a Mazda or a... No, notoriety. Like, pretty much, pretty much like, dude, did you hear that the new Audi or did you, that the new the new GTR has this much horsepower that they changed all this shit, that the engine does this yeah. now? For example... But if you're not racing, what does that matter, though? Um, 
Like you can't use it on on on. But if you especially if you live where, where, where we live, we can't. We it's still, it doesn't stop never people. Drive that's my dad was a that's kind of that's kind of the thing is that it's. It might not be something that you ever use, but it's there, mm. right? Like you would say, like track days, but how many people actually like go to the track on average? Right, like very, I mean. very like, few. Because like the car Kenny's playing as here, a fucking like, Dodge Viper. Viper. Yeah, it is a Viper, but it's like a Viper, but it's like it's Viper it's, GTR. It's made for racing, yes. right? Like, yes. and I don't think they build many, I, many I, I, models so, of this. So particular the big, racing kind. The, there's a there's a tonal dissonance right now between you're understanding this because you're not a car guy. No. Yes. And of having the of having your vehicle be this this pristine high end sort of how performance does this, vehicle. Yeah. How does this make money? Like, because this car is not the Dodge Viper you're gonna find at a dealership. Not at all. Oh, right. Well, so how the does Viper GTR? They they made models. They, of this they'll version. make GTRs, but not like this this vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. I mean, you could you could change it yourself and right. customize it. So Toyota makes this this thing for these races, right? <clears throat> yeah. How does that make them money though? I'm Winning trying the to... races. So it's, like, it's like how, how does sponsorships mm. and shit like that I make guess. people money? Like that's that's a big just, that's just a big part of reputation and, yeah. and selling. Yeah. It may, it, be, it becomes selling power because in the end, if you end up selling like a thousand of these GTRs that cost ninety to one hundred fifty k, right? But then I, I ask. You know, you're winning. It wins the race, so it gets people to buy a Dodge Viper because the Viper won this yes. whatever race. Do people only pay attention to the car, or is, is not the driver important? Um, I think the driver is more. Uh, <clears throat> the driver is absolutely more. If you're the driver is absolutely racing. the most important thing. Right. So it's like if 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 like someone was super good and he won a race with the Dodge Viper, couldn't he? Theoretically, have won the race as well in. in think of it this way. Uh, a Toyota. Th th think of it this way. Like, if you have a sports team that wins the Super Bowl, are you in it for the players? Or are you in it for the team? Mm. Right. Right. Because so like, you're, you're in it for the team. You're you're, you're a you're a diehard fan of that. Yeah, like, like, I only here for the team. Well, and, think, and it's almost kind of like fighting games too, man. Like you know, like Sonic Fox. I mean, it's like almost like a top tier too. Like you know, if you have this car, this car is a top tier car. Yeah, I'm just but it's just it's weird to me that I'm trying to just find out how how does this does it really does Dodge benefit greatly from making a these certain builds of these cars and then putting them in races? It's more like an evolution of the craft as well. Yeah. Like right, like you you are pushing performance and figuring things out, and that'll that'll win you notoriety, that'll win you articles, that'll win you word of mouth. Right, that shit's important. I highly recommend watching, just going to watch Ford versus Ferrari because yeah. the movie's all about that. Yeah, it's like, about it's like about a why company. Why are these races important? It, it's about a company that's struggling to find it's, its identity it's, in many ways when it's trying to copy the identity of others, and then you actually get the people that are responsible for the creation of it and what it means to them. Like that's the whole, like a big point of like why cars and racing is is cool to a lot of people. And there's yeah. a bit of this disconnect, obviously, with you because you're not super into it. I'm right? not. Yeah. But I know that the race cars, like you said, they gut all this shit out. They, they gut all the... Yeah, they're completely yeah. different vehicles. Yeah. Well, all, all, all the fun stuff, the air conditioning alone, you know, just yeah. all this stuff is gutted. And, and it's like this cage they're put in, in like a chassis, you know? Yeah. yeah well, I think it's not... These kind of cars, when people watch racing, they don't watch it like, oh, I want to buy that car. It's more like they, they just like to watch racing. Is it like a is it like, like a team thing where someone's like, I'm really into Dodges. I hope oh, yeah, Dodges. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope Dodges beats all these no, other cars. No, there's like Ford. Like they, there's a lot of people are like, man, fuck Fords. It's all about Dodge or like you know they were. Yeah, happy. and then so people like get fanboyish of the of the manufacturer. Oh, kind of yes, oh, well. but they also I mean, they're more towards the. I you're guess. naturally fanboyish of your own yeah, whatever, whatever vehicle you have. Yeah, you know, you naturally are. You own that car, and you're already infatuated with what else they do. Yeah, that's just the nature of human. Cars psyche. are the original console well, wars. But I guess it kind of depends <laughs> on what kind of racing, what kind of racing you're. Yeah, because like, there's different types well, of racing. Right? If, you're you're an ask, if you're a NASCAR fan, yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're in there for the you're in there for the the driver. Pretty much, you don't. Yeah, NASCAR no. seems to be more about the driver than here. Than the, like on these kind of, uh, but even racing, though, I think yes, you might, you might know the driver, but I, I think it's still more. You go with the driver and you like the car he's driving. Mm -hmm. the, the only thing that goes like. So and I think that I think another big part of it is when you grew up, you were close to a lot of the things that you were it made you happy, right? You 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 were kind of you were homeschooled, so you had you got to go to the mall, you got to go mm -hmm. to like you know theme parks, things that were close in close vicinity right. that weren't hard to get I to. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go to theme parks often though. Well, I mean, yeah, no but, money. <laughs> but you but you getting to places when you were young wasn't super difficult. No, because you yeah. you lived close. 
Yeah. For a uh, lot of kids, and I'll say myself included, we didn't live close to anything. Yeah, so cars yeah, represent yeah, freedom. Yeah, yeah. Cars oh, represent man. like your emotional freedom from you from you being kind of yeah, contained yeah. by either your parents or whatever. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of people grow an, af an affinity towards vehicles and cars because it represents that freedom. Uh. It represents that like. I want a nice car because when I go out driving, it gives me the feeling that I'm free. It gives you the feeling that, oh, I can just go and and feel like that same feeling again. That's the that's the the number one thing I when I when I got my license and my car, when I started driving was like, holy fuck, I, there's no limitations on what I can do. There's no limit. I can go wherever well, I want. Well, and you feel that as any teen when you get a car, it's like, I sure, can finally just go wherever the fuck I want. But that's the idea. Like your the attachment is your car. Like your car is so much a part of your identity when you're when yeah. you're young. Although for me though, I was just like I don't care what the car is, I just want it to work. Yeah, I mean I mean yeah. obviously that's that's a big part of it. But for me, dude, I you know, me and the the, the fucking two yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did everything I could afford to it yeah. to make it as cool as possible. And that's <clears throat> that's an important thing, man. And I've only had I've I've had very few. Like cars what the fuck is this life. thing? A Zexel? I don't know. It's some crazy. Uh, it's vehicle. a skyline. Oh. So yeah, there, there's a there's a funny like, and, and there's a funny thing that I can like tell you to go watch, which is Jesus which Christ. is a dude called Doug Demuro on Twitter, and all he I'm sorry on uh, on YouTube, and all he does is go out and just review crazy cars, right? Just normal cars and crazy cars, and he goes yeah. inside them. He shows you what like the inside of a 1.5 million dollar like Enzo Ferrari is. Oh really? And he goes and like pokes at it and shows you all the weird quirks and funky things that are inside it. Jeez. And to me, it's like I watched the motherfucker for like three months. Like, uh, every waking moment, I was just watching videos of him reviewing cars and giving them- and just rating them and reviewing them. I just was completely fucking addicted to it. And if that isn't, like, interesting to you, and on, like, this a level, it, it just- it's just not a connection I'm interested yeah. to see why this car costs 1.5 million. And the only- the sure. only reason is market fast. is value. Well, is, is that there's not so many of them. Yeah, when you, when you get to, like, Lambos, those are handmade. They're not made in an yeah. assembly. Yeah, that's, that's, a, and stuff like yeah, that. that's the other thing for me, because I'm not a car guy at all. Like, I, I saw a Lamborghini on the freeway yesterday. And I'm like, look at my, it looks like a dirt devil. Yeah. <laughs> without, dirt just, devil. <laughs> without example, a handle I, on I really was thinking about getting an, an old Supra. <laughs> I, I wanted to get an, an old uh, Toyota Supra, like a 94 or a 95. And I ended up watching one of Doug's videos on, like, an old black Supra, just, but it's stock. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't do videos on cars that are, like, relatively hyper-upgraded. He does them on the stock vehicles. So he stock, was talking okay, about yeah, yeah. the stock Supra, and it's kind of a piece of shit. It's not a great car, mm. but it the reason everyone loves the Supra now, the reason why people love Skylines now, or classic Imprezas, or all these old cars, or even my like old hero Sega Sega Cel or, or Sega Rally GT like Celica car, mm. is because video games. Mm. They were the hero cars of all the racing games that we played when we were young. And and Doug explains that. He's like, that's why these cars are so sought after, the Ford GT and all this shit. Like they were the hero cars of the games that we grew up playing. So we were more we were more affiliated and acclimated with these vehicles because we had familiarity, you know? Created a monster. They were heroes to us. Yeah, and with the DeLorean. Yeah, the DeLorean's a good example too. Like, it's a piece of shit, and it's like it's a piece I, of shit. I wouldn't buy one unless I had a, like I was like super rich. I'm like I'll buy it to trick it out, just just because hey, uh, cool. it's for tuner and JDM culture. But right, but you did, but tuner and JDM culture wouldn't exist without oh. hero cars, mm. like that RX7s and everything, and like the tuner mm. culture that exists ha is because of video games and initial D and shit. Like it is the way it is because of that. Yeah, like because that that initial D car, the one the main dude drove, it was like it was just some whatever piece of shit like it's generic it's a car. Toyota Corolla <laughs> Sprinter, right? And but they made it a hero car, so yeah. everyone's like that car. And yeah. The driver. And the car, the, the car was relatively known for being a drift car, but it's kind of just like a go kart. With yeah. some, with, and it, the reason people liked it for drifting is because it had interesting differential and balancing. Like the chassis were kind of. It was like, wow, this is like a, it just goes. Like, it fucking is weird. Yeah. Like, the way it carries itself. So it's it's like a natural sort of car that people would talk about, but they end up making it a hero car because what yeah. is it obviously? It's it's the underdog. It's this little, it's this little dinky, yeah. little dinky yeah, car. I, I remember watching the, I started to watch it and I got real bored of that anime fast because cars. But I was like, yeah, like he drives tofu. He just delivers tofu early in the morning and it's yeah, supposed to be just like this, this, this junker workforce car. Yeah, and then, the whole oh, reason that he got fast is because oh. Uh, he, he wanted to get he done wanted his to get his deliveries done so he can get back home to go to sleep to go to school. Yeah. So he would learn to drive as fast as possible up and down the mountain. Yeah, and that's the story of initial oh. D.